everybody I know understands already that their life would be better if they could somehow spend a little time just centering down with God, some devotional time. I never have to convince anybody of that. What the conversation always goes to, though, is whether or not people have enough time. It takes too much time to do that, or because they don't think that they kind of are spiritually minded enough. But you know, I haven't found that to be the case. In fact, what I want to share today are some simple ways to help people ground themselves, center down with God, prepare themselves for the day, be able to live more effectively and, and do it all in about five minutes or as I do it with my cup of coffee in the morning. It has to do with the habits of hope that we have. And the first one out of that is called Daily Grace. And Daily Grace uh, is an acronym for uh, grounded in the love of God, rejoicing. It has to do with being a, coming aware, consenting to what God is wanting to do, and then examine. But all of that's too complex. What I want to do today is focus just on the first two, and here's why. Because first, if we make it too complex, it's hard. So if you haven't done any of these, these things, start with these two. And the second is because these are the ones you would do in the morning. And I find that the best way to do this is to do it somewhere in the first thing in the morning, or at least before you, you jump out and, and get very busy. So this is how it works. We start with being grounded in the love of God and rejoicing. And I do all of that with a, just a simple verse. It's out of the Psalms. Uh, you've heard me use it before. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's as simple as that. So here's how I do that. I, I wake up with that. When I get my cup of coffee, I start with, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I start to think through as the day ahead, so what makes today unique? What, it's a cloudy day. It's a hot day. It's a busy day. It's a fun day. It's a hard day. What are the things that are, make this day unique? It's not tomorrow. It's not yesterday. It's maybe not the day I would have chosen, but this is the day that I have been given. This is the day that is waiting for me. And what are the the key characteristics, what's the handful of things that are making today unique? From there, from there, I go on to the second part, which is, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So what are the things I'm rejoicing in today? Now, what are, we begin with gratitude. We already know how to do that. And I bet you're pretty good at it already, but it is good just to take a deep breath as I'm looking at my day, what are the things I'm grateful for? And, you know, to be honest, it's pretty primal sometimes, pretty basic. Sometimes my very first thing is that cup of coffee that's in my hand or the chair I'm sitting in or the house that I get to be a part of, my family, the people I get to live with and do life with. Uh, it, it's pretty simple, but once I begin, that starts to open me up to the third part, which is, and let us... What do, we, what do we need to do to be glad in it? Well, what do we need, how do we need to show up in this day to be glad in it? Not glad for it, because heaven knows there's a lot of days that there's anything but gladness in it. But how do we make glad or make ourselves or others glad and blessed because of the way we're going to do our life? What, what's required of me? How am I going to face my day in order to be glad and make others glad in the midst of it? It's as simple as that, those three things. Once I've got a handle on those things, uh, what makes today unique? Uh, where, where am I rejoicing in today? What's ahead of me? Then this is how I conclude, and it's one more verse, and it's a famous one. It's out of Isaiah. In, a, in the midst of Isaiah, in this vision, uh, God is asking the heavenly court, so, so who will go for us? And I love that because it's, I think every day there is that question, who's going to go for God? Who's going to go and represent God? Who's going to go for us? And Isaiah's answer is, here am I, send me. So what I do once I have all of that together, uh, I, I, I look at all those things that make today unique and then this phrase, so who will go for us? And the answer is, here am I, send me. Send me, O oh God, send me into this day with your grace, with your love. Send me with all the things that I'm already rejoicing in. Send me with the things that need to happen in order to make others glad. That, it's that simple. But then it's supposed to be simple. If it was, You could spend more time, of course, doing this. But if it's too long to begin with, I find it just gets discouraging. So if you haven't had a day like that, start that way. Start that way for the next week. And we'll get to the other things in about a week. I'll post the next one. And, but start there because I think that alone, that alone will, uh, will make a difference in your day. I know it'll make a difference in t with all those around you. And 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad in it. And, and, and let's begin with the habits that are going to help change it. Because if you want to change your life, change your habits. And if you really want to make a change, do the things that you do every day. All right, you're ready for the day or <laughs> at least that next cup of coffee. Either way, have a great day.